Hi guys, it's Robin, and for today's Throwback Thursday, I want you to meet a very special friend of mine. This is Strawberry Shortcake, one of the original dolls. Um, she's not my original Strawberry Shortcake, but she is one I got on eBay recently, and I can't tell you how happy I am to have her again. Um, I got my first Strawberry Shortcake maybe around 1980. Um, from the research I've done, Strawberry came out like in 1979, um, in 80, and the original dolls had flat hands, which she does have here, so I'm guessing she might be from the first run, um, but the first ones did not have pets, except for Apple Dumpling, so she came with this pet, I don't know if this is her original pet, um, this is Custard, who is a super cutie too. And I think for a doll that's over 30 years old, she looks great. <laughs> she's probably older than my sister. <laughs> and I think she's so, so adorable. I think she's in pretty good condition. Um, let's give you a closer look here. Um, I haven't done any cleaning or, or I haven't brushed her hair much. Um, she did come with a little strawberry brush. These were the originals. They have a little strawberry on them. They're so super cute. Um, if I take out her hat, her hair is not in the best shape. It's a little choppy, but um, the original doll's hair was not the best from what I remember. She has a very slight, slight scent of strawberry. Like it's a hint. I don't know if I'm imagining it, but I think it's there. And look at that face. It's so cute. Like she doesn't have any smudges or anything on her face. So in spite of her hair, which is going to be under her hat anyway, um, her face is just so adorable. I love the little freckles and her little smile. It's so cute. Um, her outfit, this is like, this is originally how she came with her little brown shoes and her green and white tights and her dress is coming undone here um, in the back and it was all very simple, kind of like a little bit of an old timey look, which I really loved when I was a girl. I liked dolls like Holly Hobby and I really loved watching shows like The Waltons and, um, what's the other one? Oh, Little House on the Prairie that were kind of just like throwback shows. This is her big poofy hat, which is in great shape, and it's awesome, <laughs> and I love, it's a little wrinkly, but it's okay. It still has this little embroidered strawberry, which is a nice detail. Like, I don't feel like toys are made like this anymore. Like, maybe, I don't know. This little embroidered thing. I feel like it would be plastic if it was made now. Here she is with her little poofy hat. Isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh, I love her so, so very much. And this is Custard, her little kitty cat. Um, I never had a custard when I was little because the originals did not come with the pets. And I had the original strawberry. I had some of the other pets from the other dolls. Um, and I don't know why my lighting keeps doing really weird things like that. It's really annoying to me. I don't know. My setup is weird here today. Um, but custard is in really excellent condition. I have another custard that I ordered and her face paint was a mess. But this one looks really, really great. Oh, and she actually smells really good. Sorry for my sniffing there, but she still has her smell. So I'm guessing these two didn't originally come together, but they did come together to come be my friends, which is awesome. I got them a pretty good price on eBay. I can't remember exactly what I paid for them, but you can get a lot of really good strawberry shortcake dolls for like $20 under. Um, I also have another one that came in box and one is interesting to me for a lot of reasons. I actually have really um, a lot of awesome memories of these B points. Like, used to be able to collect them and um, buy different things. There's also whatever the UPC who was here got cut out, but not the B, which I find interesting. Um, so this was, this I believe is an original box because it's got blueberry, blueberry muffin and huckleberry pie without their pets. And apple dumpling with tea time turtle. I still have this tea time turtle upstairs on my shelf. And here's the back of the box, which I just think is so adorable. She looks so cute. And I love the little strawberry doodles and things. And then it showed some of the play sets, which I think I had. I'm pretty sure I had all of these. I know I had this bake shop, which was at my grandmother's house for a really long time. Like even after my grandmother passed away and my dad found it and for some reason I told him I didn't want to keep it I don't know why um, I wasn't into toy collecting back then um, And then these also came with a special thank you card and envelope, which I used to love 
love getting all the accessories. I don't think this box has it, but one of the other dolls that I got. I also find it interesting that this is from Target and it costs $4.99. We didn't get Target here in New Jersey until um, way, like way more recently. I'd say the last, like when I was in college was the first time I heard of Target. So that's back in the late 90s. So very interesting. So I'm guessing this doll came from maybe like the North, North Midwest Minnesota area where Target is based. Um, <coughs> original trademark, American Green Corporation, who, and Kenner, who made these. Kenner also made the awesome Star Wars toys that we used to play with back then. Um, here's the bottom of the box. There's also another cute strawberry doll image down here. And I'm trying to see if there's a year on here that says, it says 1980, so cool. Um, I know this is very exciting <laughs> to show, but so this strawberry looks interesting. Oh, so she does still come with the goodies. I forgot. She is in really great shape. Her dress is a little bit wider than this other one. I don't know if you can see the, the other one here. Her dress is a little um, dingier, but this the red is the white and the reds and greens are a little more vibrant on this one. And her shoes though are not as in good shape. There's actually something kind of gummy on the shoes. I don't know what that is, but it's kind of gross. It's sticky. Her stockings are still pretty vibrant too. I'm gonna have to like either swap out these shoes or they're actually kind of gross. <laughs> they're slimy. Um, I didn't notice that before until right now. And her hat, and she's still attached in the box. Um, I might, I might keep her in the box, but I might free her at some point because it makes me sad. But she still has this plastic over her eyes too. But one thing I wanted to show you is her hair is still pretty choppy here. So at first I thought maybe this strawberry's hair got cut by a little girl somewhere along the line. But it's actually, they just didn't pay a lot of attention to those things. And her hat looks nice and poofy still too. Really cute. Oh, these shoes are gross though. I'm not, oh, I don't know what happened there. I didn't notice that when I opened it up. Um, very weird. Okay, so strawberry two. You can hang out back there. So see, it came with this little envelope. And look at this little card, it's so sweet. I love these cards. I think they had very different ones. This one says, that was very sweet of you. Little thank you cards. Because Strawberry Shortcake, the original strawberry, was just a very polite, sweet, this envelope is very dingy, very sweet little doll. Um, this one also came with the original brush. And it came with this little booklet, which I used to love these booklets so much when I was a little girl. Um, I used to pour over them and just study them. And <laughs> I love the art. And it tells you her story, um, which is very sweet. And it tells you about her friends. And it shows you just some of the different accessories and things you could buy, like this case, which I might have had that case. And here's the carousel. And the jewelry. I know I had some of these jewelry. So you used to be able to save up the berry points and then you could paste them here on this card and then you could send them in and order um, different pieces of jewelry. So I actually have a picture of me somewhere where I'm, I think I'm wearing a necklace or something. I'll try to put that in here. It might be a pin, so it might be something different. I'll have to look for it though, but you guys can see it was very cute. I was like four years old. Um, <laughs> here's the snail cart. This snail cart opened up and there was like ice cream inside. It was very cute. And then this table could be, uh, this cart could become a table, like a picnic table. This is the bake shop, which I really loved. And these were like giant plushy 13 inch dolls, which I did not have. And I also did not have these guys. There was also a baking set, which I always really wanted, which I never got. And there's a paint set and this cool Play-Doh set, which I actually recently found on eBay, not with the original Play-Doh, but I'm thinking of getting that. So comment down below if you guys want to see some vintage Play-Doh sets. <laughs> um, I just think that's really cool. Yeah, that's what Play-Doh looked like back in the 1980s. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm so super excited and in love with these dolls. They just make me so, so very happy. So very happy. Um, I just, like she was just my favorite, favorite doll from childhood. And for a long time, I just, it never occurred to me to look on eBay for one, and I thought they would be like really, really expensive. But then I saw, I'm actually, Hey That's Mike had posted a picture of some dolls he found on eBay, 
And then I went and looked and I was like so surprised. So I have some more dolls for my Strawberry Shortcake collection I'm going to be showing you over the next few weeks, hopefully. Um, if you guys like this video, I'll show you more of my strawberry collection. And I showed you my, um, my berry patch case a few weeks ago. I'll link to that as well at the end of this video. So you can check that out. Um, but I love strawberry shortcake so much. I can't, I just, it just, it's so amazing to have this doll again and to have two of them. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope that you like this video and subscribe and tell us if you want to see more Throwback Thursday videos. And you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All the links are down below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Have a very nice day.